Hello Kindergarten, it is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and you are ready for another fabulous math lesson. I have been having fun teaching you guys math and I'm excited to keep going. So today is all about the number seven. We talked about seven last lesson and today we're going to talk about seven some more. It's a good number, right? So today we will work on counting groups of seven and we'll work on writing the number seven again too. Practice is always good when you're writing numbers. So the more you practice, the better of a writer you will become. So today, if you have something to count with and something to write with and write on, that would be great. We'll start off with a quick fluency game. We'll do a quick yummy application problem and we will do our concept development where we'll be counting some magic beans again. And then we will end with our exit ticket and talking about what we learned. That those are always our steps of math, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, module number one, lesson 20. Yeah, 20 is two tens, 20. So like I said, our objective today will be to count sets of seven and write the number seven. I am sure we are going to master this quickly. All right, we're going to start with the balloon game. Remember this one? We haven't done this one in a while. It's called Show Me Another Way. So I'm going to pop the balloons and you're going to see some, um, a number. And when I pop the number, I want you to show me that uh, same number of fingers the math way. Mrs. Shervani sometimes forgets to do this too. So instead of saying three like this, that means we're going to show the math way by starting with our pinky. I itch on my notes. <laughs> so we'll start on our pinky. One, two, three. So this would be showing me three the math way like this. Then I'm going to say, now show me your fingers a different way. So instead of like this, think how else you can show me three. Think hidden partners. How else can you show me three, two, and one? If I just put one finger down here and put it up over here, that is another way to show three, two, and one. All right, let's do this one together. Six. So here's six. Well, I guess this would be six, the math way, right? If we always am starting with my pinky on the other hand, I'm going to start with my pinky too. So six. Now show me another way. What about three and three? Yeah. Or five and one. We did that one, right? So show me a different way. Four and two. That would be a good one. Or two and four. Good. All right, let's do two more like this. We'll just finish the first row. Five. Now show me a different way. I'm going to put two fingers down here and put those two fingers up on the other hand. So three and two. Good one. Or if I just want to put one finger down and then one finger up, four and one is another way to show five, right? Okay, let's do one more. Seven. Five and two is seven. Or let's see, let's put one finger down here and put it up over here. So that would be four and three makes seven. That's a good one. We haven't done that one yet, huh? All right, let's move on to our application problem. I don't know why these application problems are always about food, huh? That's okay, though. I like food. So Christopher has a bag of five cookies. Okay, so let's show these cookies. He has a bag of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there I have two on top, three in the bottom. That makes my five. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna uh, get my pen here. I'm gonna draw a bag. There we go. That kind of looks like a bag, huh? <laughs> kind of looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, so he has five cookies and he has two loose cookies. That means two are not in the bag. So I'm gonna put two outside the bag right here. All right, 
how many cookies does Christopher have all together? So we have to count the ones that are in the bag and the ones that are not in the bag. We know that there were five in the bag, right? So let's count on five, six, seven. So he has seven cookies all together. Five and two is seven. All right, let's work on our concept development now. So we have our magic counting beans here. Let's take out five and put them in our circle or on the edge here. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Okay. I took out five. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Now let's take out two more. One, two more. Okay. How many beans are left in the bag? Three. Three are in the bag. Um, okay, so how many beans do we have all together? One, two, okay, wait, wait, wait. First, before I start counting, I gotta remember where I started, right? So let's see. I started, let's remember that I started counting right here, and I'll stop counting when I get back to this one. Okay, so count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we did it. There are seven. Good work. All right, now let's put two of these beans that we have made here. Let's put them back. One, two, and now let's put five more back. One, two, three, four, five. So how many beans did we put away? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We put seven beans back. That makes sense. We took seven out. We put seven back. And there's still three left in here. We talked about that before too. Can you show me seven with your fingers? Five and two more. Seven. Good. All right, let's practice writing the number seven again. Let's practice writing it two times. Let's do it once in the air and then once on the paper. Across the sky, down from heaven, that's how we make the number seven. Across the sky, down from heaven, that's how we make the number seven. Across the sky, down from heaven, that's how we make the number seven. Across the sky, down from heaven, that's how we make the number seven. That was a big seven that I made down there, huh? All right, let me show you your problem set now. We are just, this is a quick math lesson, huh? A real quick one, because you guys are seven pros. You're so good at counting seven. Okay, so you're gonna count the number of suns and then choose how many. Count the number of circles and choose how many. That's it. That's your quick, quicky, sticky math lesson today. Remember when you are counting, it is so important to be sure that you are um, identifying a counting path first. So you want to make sure that you know where you're going to start counting and you know where you're going to stop counting. That way you don't make that silly mistake like I made of keeping counting around the circle and never stopping, right? And it's also very important that we are starting to make sense of numbers and hidden partners. So that's what we did today, right? We found partners to six and partners to seven and we wrote the number seven. Good work today, guys. We'll keep on going next lesson. Adios.